everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. In the last episode, we made it back here with the Ark with a bunch, and I do mean a bunch of monsters, including Sergeant Griswold, who lived. Yay! And they're all building the undercarriage. <laughs> I like how uh, the big guy, his axe just comes through. And they built some of the stuff. And in between last episode and this episode, I built the remaining of the stuff. So, um, let's see here. That goes in there, that goes in there, this goes in there. And that, and that. And then all of this stuff. There is one more thing that I need, um, in order to finish. But unfortunately, I don't have a certain ingredient. Which is... Gold. I have some gold. I got it from the treasure chest. So, um, what I did was I put in the... Something or other in this? Aha! And it gives me the gold I need. Yay! I kind of figured that's where it was. Um, so hopefully now I can finish... Um, doing these. Okay, 27. And that's it. And then they're they're working on the arc, which is huge, by the way. It's super cool. <laughs> um, it's great. And in this episode, also in this episode, we are going to go talk to. Uh, oh no! Um, put that back. Uh, I believe it's Zibidi who wants us to um, talk to him for something. And you're down there. Okay. Okay. There you are. What a strange contraption you have here, Amanda. The Ark, you call it. It looks as if it were plucked right out of another world. Did that defective... It's not defective. Automation put you up to this. Or did the idea come from that leather-bound tome you hold on your back, perhaps? I beg your pardon. You wish to keep the contents of that book a secret? Not only... That only makes me all the more curious. You sound like Mauroth. But anyway, on to more pressing matters. I hear you are using the Forbidden Altar to summon forth raw materials. But it is not a large... But it is... But is it this not a large undertaking for a single person? However, if you had a summoning chamber outfitted with the right equipment, we monsters may be able to do some of the legwork for you. Oh! In fact, I imagine the haven of Hargon's chapel could be converted into a summoning chamber quite easily. First place a... Uh... Forbidden altar... I was going to say Vorbaron. <laughs> and a storage bay in the... In the chapel, we will also need an unholy author, author, altar, to pray for successful summoning. But one should already be in place. Furthermore, if you must furnish the room with a sinister sconce and a false idol, so that we do not forget to thank the master for his bounty. Finally, once you have placed the two um, peculiar pillars inside, the summoning chamber will be complete. Perhaps you pocketed a fossil idol when you pillaged one of our unholy sites. If not, I am sure a builder of your ability could come up making yourself. That's probably a good idea, because I did not. At all. <laughs> false idol! A sinister statuette to which the children of Hyron offer odious things. Offers. Oaths? Oaths. I can talk. I don't know what you guys are talking about. No, I cannot. You guys should know by now that Amanda is not the best of readers, but that is okay. All right, so we already have the altar. Um, I could just take one of these, which I might. Um, I could build another one. So I need two of those. And you said a storage bay, right? Oh, we need, I'm gonna put two because come on. You gotta have symmetrical here. And storage bay. No, I'm only putting one. And then the false idol. 
Hmm, was there anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, yes, there is something. Okay, how big? Can I put this back here? Oh, I can. Sweet. Uh, Sculpture Gallery. Sw okay. Um, that's a pretty cool game. Um, let's put that right there. Oh my god, guys, come on. That right there. And then we can put the peculiar pillars right there. It's like they designed it to be like that or something. Alright, alright, alright. Sheesh. Uh, I think that was a mistake. As well. <laughs> Alright, now let's put the storage bay right there. And then... Oh, this one's complete. Sweet! Good. And then... Put that one... Right there. Summoning chamber! Ugh. Get out. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Let me know when you guys are finished. Oh, some monsters have appeared near the base. Hmm. Oh, um, while I was making stuff, we also had another attack from some monsters. And, oops, ow. And nothing happened. We defeated him. That was it. Though they do quite a good job with defeating monsters for being monsters. Okay. Oh, no, not you. The summoning chamber is complete. This is most pro 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 All we have to do now is stick some of the master's destruction slop off slopped off scrapes into the storage bay and we'll take care of the rest. May I ask you a question, Amanda? It is something that has plagued me since we first chance to meet. How pray tell did you, a human and a builder, and a builder strike up a relationship with a mass with our master. I simply cannot wrap my hand around it. You simply happen to meet each other and become friends. Neither of you knew he was the master of destruction at the time, and nor does it matter that now that you do. Well, Poppycock, I, I cannot believe what you claim. Heed my words, Builder. Creation and destruction are fundamentally in irreconcilable mm. forces. Sooner or later, the balance will tip, and one will extinguish the other. Mm, not necessarily true, but sure. All right, so I can put some of the stuff in here. All right, let's put some of the stuff in there. Not like I'm gonna use any of it. Um, sure. There you go. Though they ain't going to do one at a t They're gonna literally do one at a time. Fine. You know what? Then I'm gonna take these, and they can do the scales. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I need... I need to put his lower, big, bad bottom teeth. I find that hilarious. <laughs> big, bad bottom teeth. We'll just do one. It'll be faster. Okay, um... Are we just waiting for them to finish? It's only at 45. It's gonna be a bit before they finish. Um, I thought there was something else we could do. Uh, I guess not. So, um, I'll bring you back when I have something to report then. Yeah, they only put one in at a time. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. <laughs> oh! Um, <laughs> uh, they were kind of taking their time, so I was like, I'll just help out a little bit. And, um, I don't, I think we're at like 55% now? And, uh, yeah, this just jumped up. Hey, Amanda! Construction of the Ark is going jolly well, wouldn't you say? I'm sure it'll look super once it's finished. Everyone's on board with the plan, 
if progress continues like it has so far. Squeaky! This is a big one! Uh oh. That tremor is an indication that our master's strength grows even greater. You may only know by stringing him. Oh, wait. He may only now be stringing from his long slumber. No, stirring, not stringing. Wow, Amanda. But his preparations for Doomsday are already in full swing. Bleep, bleep. I estimate that Doomsday will arrive when he has fully awoken. Amanda, you're mates with Mather, right? None of us have ever met him. Can you tell us what kind of bloke he is? Eh? He put pumpkins on... Wait, eh? He put pumpkins on his head and dances. He likes flexing his muscles in front of half-naked miners. Do not take us for fools, Amanda. The Master of Destruction would never partake in such... Prior pastimes? Bzz, pardon me, but the countdown timer for Doomsday is ticking. We must finish construction, constructing the Ark. Amanda, we need you to prepare all the necessary building materials. If you need more raw materials to make extra items, you must process the molted body parts of Master in your forbidden altar. Please bear in mind that each body part only produces certain materials. Try transforming different parts until you find materials you need. Three! Alright, Monsted, you heard the robot. It's time to resume construction on the Ark. Okay. It would appear that the Ark's construction is proceeding apace. However, I still worry that Doomsday will strike before we are able to finish. Amanda. Would you ring the builder's bell once more, once again, so that its tremendous tentabilization entices more monsters to us? Never seen that word before. I fear we are short-handed. Really? <laughs> Short-clawed and short-oozed. A larger crew would increase our chances of completing the arc in time. It is the energy the others offer you that allows you to ring the bell so loud, yes? If you need more of it, pray aid our ailing aid our ailing allies, but do not lose sight of our ultimate goal. Oh jeez. Oh, uh, uh, attack! <laughs> Ski! Greetings, Amanda. The Ark is coming along nicely, and it's all thanks to your super driver. Me! I tell you, all this strenuous work has a monstrous Rev... Revenous? Problem is, I don't know how to build a full stomach. <gasps> but I know who to ask. Can you construct a gory grill house? House? So... So I can fill my grubbly tummy? All the room needs is a meaty marsh mountain? <laughs> okay. A sword bay and a brick barbecue. To make a meaty marsh mountain, You'll first need to wrestle up a Gorgoth board from some vile veins, minty mink, and frost stools. If you are struggling to find the ingredients or need me to remind you of the recipe, all you need to do is ask. Okay, I can do that. Just make sure you build it in the ark. That way, after we escape, we can cook all sorts of food stuff and stuff ourselves silly. Oh, and stuff ourselves silly. Okay. What did I learn? Meaty Marsh Mountain. A marsh board of slimy meats only a monster could appreciate. Mmm. Yeah. Delish. Ah. Wait, how tricks, Amanda? The orc's really coming along, eh? It gives me a certain pride to know I helped build this. Saving us monsters is all well and good, but we're not the only life forms or dead forms around here that are hurting tor hurtling towards oblivion. 
I want to save the planet life too. I might look like a bony old brute, but I'm actually a horticulturalist at heart. Yes, I know how to say that word because I live with one. <laughs> if, well, I live with a biologist, but she likes plants too. If we could have a creepy cons conservatory on the Ark, I would pursue plants to my heart's content. The local floor here is actually very interesting. I have, I'll have you know, you can turn it into hardy tucker and it looks lovely to boot. Just stick a storage bay in a room along with four budding box cloves and two blooming box cloves and you've got yourself a creepy conservatory. You'll find the flowers growing on the cliffs nearby. So don't be bone idle. Nip out and pick up some. All right. Cool, I don't have to help with the construction anymore. Yay! All right, let us make... Oh, we need a bonfire. That's easy. Okay. And then we need two... Did he want a storage bay in there? Um. Um. There you are. Um. Yeah, he needs a storage bay. Okay. Nope. No, there's just so many over here. Built. Okay, so two of these. And then. Um. Glorks or How do I make that? Why do I need a false item? I don't know. Um. Oh, right. Amanda, you can't make it here. You have to make it at the... Just... Wow. I'm like as smart as a box of rocks sometimes. Okay, I need one of these. And then I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. So put that there, and then sure we'll put this. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Right Small kitchen. Can I cook? No. I don't remember how to cook it. Grimsville. Um. Yes. Meat Mountain. How do you make... Okay, so... Oh, frog stool, manky meat, and the, the vines. Okay, got it. Thank you. I'm, I might be a tad tired. No. Okay, so manky meat vines. There we go. And then... So one, two, three, cook. No. No. Look, there we go. There's just so much going on everywhere. All right, well, that's cooking. I'm gonna go grab, do I have all the flowers? Um, I have two of, um, I think I needed four of the bloods. All right. So we got the two of those that we need and then we need the four buds. Four. Perfect. I'm gonna grab an extra one just in case. I mean, come on. Let's let him have his fun. And it's still cooking over there, so that's fine. Let's put that right there and then... Um... Hmm. Let's put... Right there. We'll put one of these in the... Yeah! Right there. And then one over there. And you know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna put one right there. Put a bud down there. And a bud over there. Okay, there was something else that needs to go in there and I don't remember what it was. Nope. Excuse me. Wait. Guys, come on. Oh, because they came in here because they were clapping for the room. <laughs> okay. 
Um, and then we need one of those. I believe that is it for this room. Yay! What else did you need? It just is that. Okay, sorry. I had a cough. And then does he not want... There we go. <sighs> Got it. All right. Good, 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 and good. Okay. Now, ha, ah, Grimsville. I'm very impressed with the gory grill house you made for us. Thanks. You just leave the cooking to us monsters. Once we've made something, we stick with it, stick it in the Thoroth Bay, and then we can help ourselves. I like you, Amanda, but I still think you were very strange. Customer? You... Waltz into the unholy homeland of Hilla Hagan, the enemy of the builders, and make yourself the... Sensor. No, that is spelled wrong. That's spelled wrong. Center is with C, not an S. <laughs> There's a difference of the center and the building stuff. And to top it all off, you say that the master of the Saxon is your best buddy. Hee hee Don't worry about now, Amanda. I'm certain. Well, okay, he does that with the S's too, so... Bleh. I still say, whatever. You'll see your friend soon enough. Yeah, this is true. Alright. Sarge! The creepy conservatory is exactly what I was after. When I'm stressed out, looking at flowers soothes me to the bone. Now that I think about it, I'm glad I didn't chop your, bon your bounce off in the end. Huh. I blame the stupid sword for my bad attitude back then. Holding a weapon in my hand all the time just makes you want to swing it at someone. You know? No, I don't know. You're kidding! Another monster like me nearby chopped your noggin off when you were a prisoner on a ship? Hee hee hee. Why, I'm not surprised. It's one of our nature to chop first, ask questions later. On behalf of the animated skeleton skeletons everywhere, I apologize. Aww. Now where was I? Oh yeah, I wanted to thank you. Without your help, I never would have gotten to see Aerospottle... Uh, Splossel. Uh, Grimville... I almost said Germville. Or N04H again. So thanks, Amanda. I'd do anything in my power to bring you and your mate... The Master of Destruction together again. I owe you that much. Aww, thanks, buddy. Okay. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Oh man, that was a lot. <laughs> In the next episode, I guess we're ringing the bell. So, I will see you guys then. And as always, keep on smiling. <laughs>